The essential claim of this documentary is that global warming alarmism is not good science, that it just doesn't fit the known facts, that in a surprising number of cases, it's not really science at all. And I want to make that clear because of an important concession that I also want to make up front, and it's this. If the alarmists are right in their scientific analysis and in their predictions, then they are also essentially right on the policy response that we need. It would be foolish, it would be wicked to say, yes, you're right, human activity is ruining the environment, overheating the planet, causing mass extinctions, but it would just be too costly to fix it, too much money or too many jobs. It certainly won't do, as too many politicians seem inclined to, especially those right of center, to rally round the white flag, to concede on the science to avoid controversy, and then try to dig in and fight on the policy. If the alarmist scenarios are right, and we must be clear about this, mass extinctions, enormous damage to human civilization or its destruction, then almost literally no cost would be too high to pay to stop them from coming true. The essential point here is that they're not.